Hi everybody, welcome to this month's members video. I am standing here in front of the brand new pond that has always been here, but we managed with the help of the Heritage Foundation to restore it to its uh, former glory. So hopefully you enjoy it and you'll pop over and see it when you're next at the club. So today really the video is about a summary of August, uh, which has two very important days for us, which is the Ladies Captain's Day and the Club Captain's Day, which today is such a day. We've had a wonderful time and you're about to hear from Nick and from Helen to hear how they felt it went. Well, I think for the club and for me it's been an unexpected success given the extraordinary circumstances that we have found ourselves in over the last six months. It's been uh, a bizarre year to be captain but in a strange sort of way this has been uh, a crowning glory, uh, an unexpected crowning glory for me as a captain in this year. So I'm delighted with it, totally delighted. On both courses we've had two different types of competition. We've had a Texas Scramble and we've had a two of best four on the other course. Uh, tennis has been here. Um, I think it's brought social out. We have had wonderful food from the staff in the kitchens. Amazing service and uh, as hopefully you can see from behind me we've had a rather exceptional and unique afternoon at Moore Park. Uh, we've had musicians doing a lot of 1960s stuff and uh, 200 people dining happily in our gardens. I think they've had a really good time. And it's just been a great day, fantastic from beginning to end. So the music, that's all been varied all the way through. We've been listening to it as we've been going around the golf course. So uh, it's been really great, really good day. It's been a really tough six months, not just for me, but for absolutely everybody. Uh, members of this club are no exception. Nobody's immune from this, but the membership has responded brilliantly today. I'm immensely grateful to them for the support they've given to my day. I hope they've enjoyed it. There's no doubt that Moore Park has showcased itself to its best today. It's been a wonderful day for the club and for the members. Uh, my Lady Captain's Day I had last Thursday. Um, that got delayed a week because there was threat of thunder and lightning. Um, so I actually uh, delayed it uh, for a week, which I was grateful for because we had a beautiful sunny day in between sun showers on the Wednesday and then on the Friday we had terrific winds. So uh, it was great. Um, on course was brilliant. I had a soldier from my charity. He came and took my place in my team. All the ladies dressed up in fancy dress. I had fancy dress. The theme was at the movies. Um, and again, just a fantastic day. We had a Texas scramble. I had them putting with tennis balls, putting with their driver. Um, it was just a great day and uh, the ladies have been fantastic. Fantastic. They've supported me, been behind me in everything I've done. Probably my proudest moment is when me and my husband, um, we did our charity challenge. Um, so on the 30th of July, uh, me and Andy drove up to Scotland, Carnoustie, and at one minute past midnight, I drove my first golf ball off of the first at Carnoustie. Um, we had uh, Matty, who was a Marine. He, um, one of the beneficiaries from On Course. This is what my charity is all about, which is supporting injured veteran soldiers to get them back into life and reality using golf. So uh, either through playing, uh, green keeping in the office. So he came to see me off. And from there then, we were straight in the car, we went then to St Andrews. And we finished at Royal St George's. The secretary there came out with champagne and Hari, who's a Gurkha, who's a double amputee, he came and presented me flowers from on course to uh, thank me for support that I've given them for the charity. Um, and it was fantastic. Finally, I'd just like to thank all the members, uh, the staff. It's been a real difficult time and without the member support and sticking in there I don't think we'd be the club what we would be now so um, you have to be very proud of the club everything that's been achieved this year because really without you guys we wouldn't have the club that we have now so uh, keep thinking about that um, I know it's difficult for everybody but uh, 
We've got a great club here and it just proves today really, you know, what a great membership we have, what great friends we've got and I don't think there's any other club like it. When I look back, I will look back very fondly upon this year. The support I've had from the members has been amazing. Uh, they, they, in the, my darkest hours, and there have been some dark moments during the last six months, the support of the membership, the uh, amazing friendship they've given me has been wonderful and I will remember that for the rest of my days. So all the members of Moor Park, you have my enduring thanks. It was so wonderful to hear from both captains on their experiences of the year and particularly their special day that we've managed to pull off this month. We have worked so hard both with the planning stage and the delivery to try and actually get these events to be um, so much fun for you but equally follow those all important social uh, distancing guidelines so we as a team are just delighted that everyone's had so much fun thank you all so much for adhering to all the guidelines please continue to do so and we can carry on having a great time at the club thank you very much for watching as always and i'll speak to you very soon